in my experience, I, I really much came to Mary through Ignatius Loyola. He was a very devout um, lover of Mary, and he said that Mary is the bridge to Christ. And he actually would meditate in this little fresco in the Jesu, which is the Jesuit church in Rome. When I completed the spiritual exercises, which are contemplations and meditations laid out by Ignatius Loyola, one of the exercises, the messages in the exercises is that he is telling me that I am an intimate part of the family that Mary and Jesus are not just a family to revere, who lived back in history and uh, we can learn from and honor, but we are actually invited to be an intimate member of the family. And when I saw this little fresco that Ignatius meditated on in the Jesu, I actually started to see faces in the garb of, the, uh, of Jesus and Mary because of this, this message, this invitation to be an intimate part of Mary and Jesus' life. So I started to paint these faces in the garb of, the, of Mary and Jesus, and the, the faces actually represent all of humanity. There's various saints and, and, um, and various people of dith different ethnicities and of different times. And it, that's really the message that I got, is not just I'm an intimate, invited to be an intimate part of the, the, the royal family and to be able to inherit the, the, the incredible gifts of God, but we all are. And that actually helps me as well in thinking of the world and other people in a unitive way, that we are all one family. So. I, when I look at another person, I can see Christ in the other person, uh, it's, or I can see Mary in the other person. I'm not great at it, but by the fact that I have painted this painting and contemplated this idea that we are all members of one family and that we all inherit the uh, miraculous gifts of God through our birthright, that it's nothing that we can earn, and that it's nothing that we can um, achieve, earn, uh, talk ourselves into. We just merely receive it.